wondering what this this Deuteranopia. Right, that. This is what a person with Deuteranopia or red green color blindness sees. They cannot see red or green colors like we can. Instead, they see shades of brown. It is a rare disorder in females and males. Only 0.1% of girls receive Deuteranopia, while 1% of boys get Deuteranopia. The reason it is so rare is because someone from both the mother's and father's side of the family had to have it. Probably it is the red-green cone in their eyes that is affected. But, two genes cause this. OPN1LW for red, and OPN1MW for green. It's a point mutation, which means that it affects only one or very few nucleotides in a DNA chain. Nucleotides are the basic unit structures of RNA and DNA. Anyway, let's quit talking this boring science stuff and let's see the day of a life of a fellow student named Victoria Smith, a student here at Enterprise High. It's typical for someone to hear the words colorblind and think that the person sees only black and white. However, that is not correct. As shown earlier, they just see shades of brown. What, how did you react when you found out that you were the very few percentile of females that get red-green color blindness? I really didn't. I don't know. You didn't really I just, care? I'm unique is my first thought. Hey, I'm different than everybody else. So you took a positive outlook on it? F for that moment, and then everything just went normal again. Like, So everything just went back to the way it was. You didn't see it? as positively anymore, you just saw it as a normal thing. It's just a normal thing now for me. I might have problems in the future with jobs and picking up prom dresses and things like that because of my color blindness. My family has always worn a red prom dress. I am afraid that I will pick out the wrong dress when I go to prom. I actually have glasses that help me see colors. What? I have color correcting glasses and they can help me see my colors better, but I do not like them because they make me nauseous. And how I got them was I went to the eye doctor and I asked, can I get cor color correcting glasses? And they mailed them to me the very next day. What is it? My favorite color is, um, Without the glasses, probably black or gray. But with the glasses, I kind of like the aqua teal kind of color. Oh, okay. With the green. So more like the bl blue the, greens. The green with a hint of blue, so it's slightly aqua. So if you were to have green or red, which one would you actually pick? Like which one would I want to see Yeah, which more? one would you want to see more? Well, the ocean's blue, the sky's blue. What else is, what's, what is more important than... I said red or green. I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> I like to draw because it's fun. The reason why I got into it was because my father loved to draw. So I joined in and started drawing with him. So did it come naturally mm -hmm. as more fun and you just kept doing it? Just lines on paper, or or computer screen, whatever. Then Most, again, mostly computer screen. My question is, how did you, how were you able to differentiate the reds and greens so easily? You had the glasses, right? After fifth grade, I got the glasses. Have you been drawing before then? I have drawn since I was this big. I was fetus when I started drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I was fetus. When I do my art, I use my color correcting glasses, but I can only use them for so long before they make me nauseous. So most of the reds and greens I can only do for a short amount of time. And so, it is absolutely obvious that Victoria doesn't let her red-green colorblindness stop her whatsoever. Instead, she perseveres on through her troubles in hopes that every day will be absolutely normal and that nothing weird will happen. But hey, every single day something weird happens.
This is the life of Victoria Smith, and this has been the documentary about Deuteranopia. Are you going to speak? <laughs> <I go> <laughs> <laughs>